हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो 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 होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल दिस इज शची वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्रैक केमिस्ट्री today i am going to explain a class 11 topic the name of the chapter is chemical bonding and molecular structure and topic's name is partial covalent character in ionic bonds part 2 students before starting i want you to support me by subscribing my channel by liking this video and by sharing this video with your friends also so that i can make many more important and useful videos for you so now come with me and let's crack chemistry in part 1 of this video i have explained you that an ionic bond which is formed by the loss and gain of electrons between a metal and a non metal is not 100% ionic it has some covalent character children it is a very interesting topic ki an ionic bond which is formed by loss and gain of electron is not 100% ionic it has some covalent character for detailed explanation please refer part 1 of this video before proceeding today's session i'll give you a brief explanation of the topic which i taught in part 1 because both the topics are interrelated so in part 1 i explained that an ionic bond is not 100% ionic it has some covalent character what is the cause of development of covalent character in an ionic bond you can understand with the help of this diagram so in this diagram you can see that a cation which is represented by the symbol x plus and an anion which is represented by the symbol y minus are shown so when a cation and an anion approach each other a cation will distort the outer electron cloud of the anion this process of distortion of outer electron cloud of an anion by a cation is called as polarization so for detailed explanation please refer part 1 In today's session we will learn that polarization of an ionic bond depends on polarizing power of a cation and polarizability of an anion so this polarizing power of a cation and polarizing power of an anion are explained with the help of set of rules which are known as fajan rules so now i am going to explain you fajan rules as i told you that fajan rules consists of set of rules I will explain you each and every rule one by one. So rule number 1 is the small size of cation. Children always remember that a small size cation has a greater polarizing power. Consider few cations. First one is Li+ lithium cation. Next is sodium ion Na+ followed by potassium ion K+. So in these cations you know that all of these atoms belong to first group of the periodic table. So lithium ion is having a smaller radii than the sodium ion. Sodium ion is having a smaller radii than the potassium ion. So out of lithium, sodium and potassium ions which will have the greatest polarizing power I discussed with you in the beginning that smaller the size of cation greater will be its polarizing power so lithium ion will have more polarizing power than the sodium ion and sodium ion will have more polarizing power than the potassium ion so similarly we can answer if you have three compounds compounds of lithium sodium and potassium LiCl NaCl and KCl and you can see that in all these compounds an ion is common which is the chloride ion in all these three cases so if you have lithium chloride sodium chloride and potassium chloride which compound will have the highest covalent character so you can answer now as we have seen just now smaller the size of cation greater will be its polarizing power so in LiCl NaCl and KCl the smallest cation is lithium cation so therefore LiCl will be more covalent than NaCl 
and out of sodium ion and potassium ion sodium ion is smaller therefore NaCl will be more covalent than the potassium chloride i hope it is clear to you whatever points i have explained you are written here in this slide now the next rule next rule is the size of anion children always remember that larger the size of anion greater will be its tendency to get polarized so polarization increases with increase in size of anion again i will consider few examples here this time we are going to consider the size of anion so i am writing here few compounds of lithium iodide libr licl and lif so as we are discussing the size of anion in all these four compounds you can see that the cations we have taken the same so just now we have explained that larger the size of anion greater will be its tendency to get polarized it can be distorted easily its outer electron clouds can be distorted easily so therefore lithium iodide is having maximum covalent character because iodide ion has the largest ionic radii whatever examples we have taken i am talking about uh, those examples so lithium iodide will have more covalent character than libr libr in turn will have more covalent character than licl licl has more covalent character than lif i hope it is clear to you so children whatever points i have discussed with you are written here in this slide now next rule next rule is the large charge on cation or anion children always remember that if a cation has larger charge its polarizing power will be more and if an anion is having large charge its tendency to get polarized will be more always remember that a cation polarizes a an anion so cation is causing the polarization and an anion is getting polarized so i am going to explain you this point by taking an example i have taken here na plus and ca2 plus so sodium ion and calcium ion their ionic radii is almost similar but as sodium ion has one positive charge and calcium ion has two positive charges so larger the charge on the cation more will be its polarizing power so because of the presence of high charge on calcium ion its polarizing power will be more so if i take two compounds of sodium and calcium i am taking nacl and cacl2 so now it must be clear to you which will have more covalent character calcium chloride will have more covalent character it will have more covalent character the reason is that it is having higher charge on the cation which is calcium ion calcium ion has two positive charges so therefore cacl2 will have more covalent character and how you can prove that cacl2 has more covalent character you know from your previous knowledge also that an ionic compound has higher melting point than a covalent compound so melting point of calcium chloride is lesser than the melting point of sodium chloride i hope you will remember this point so whatever points i have explained you are again written here in this slide now the next point next point is a very important point electronic configuration of the cation children always remember that a uh, polarizing power of a cation depends on its electronic configuration this i can explain you by taking the example of copper ion cu plus and sodium ion which is na plus so children cu has the atomic number 29 atomic number of copper is 29 but i am going to write the electronic configuration of copper ion which has one positive charge so it will have 28 electrons so, but remember i am going to write only the outer shell electronic configuration so i am not writing 1s2 2s2 2p6 
I will start writing from 3s to 3p6, 3d10. 4s will not have any electrons because during the formation of copper ion, one electron from 4s has been lost. So this is the electronic configuration of copper ion. Children, if you count these electrons, you can see that you will have 2 plus 6 plus 10. 18 electrons are present here. Such an electronic configuration is called a pseudo inert gas configuration. So you can say that copper ion has pseudo inert gas configuration. Now I am going to write the electronic configuration of Na+. Again I will not write 1s. I will write only 2s2, 2p6 as I am writing the outer shell electronic configuration. And if you count these electrons you can see that it has 8 electrons in the outer shell. So now remember one point that cations which have 18 electron shell configuration. This configuration is called a pseudo inert gas configuration. Such cations cause greater polarization than the cations which have 8 electron shell configuration. Now let me explain you the reason for this. The reason is that the cations which have pseudo inert gas configuration, they have 10 electrons in the 3d orbitals and you know that d orbitals have very poor shielding effect. So because of the poor shielding effect such cations will have greater effective nuclear charge and more the effective nuclear charge more will be its polarizing power. So I hope it is clear to you if you have Cu plus which has pseudo inert gas configuration and you have Na plus which has 8 electron shell configuration, polarizing power of Cu plus will be much greater than the polarizing power of Na plus. So now I will take two compounds of sodium and copper. I am taking chloride of sodium which is NaCl and chloride of copper is CuCl. So now it must be clear to you that out of sodium chloride and copper chloride, CuCl is more covalent. It has more covalent character. Why it has more covalent character? Answer is clear that uh, in case of CuCl, Cu plus has pseudo inert gas configuration, its polarizing power will be more. So that's why the as copper chloride has more covalent character than sodium chloride, melting point of copper chloride will be lesser than the melting point of sodium chloride because you already know that covalent compounds have lower melting point and the ionic compounds have very high melting point. Therefore, melting point of sodium chloride is 1073 Kelvin and the melting point of CuCl is 705 Kelvin. I hope it is clear to you. So whatever points I have explained are written here in this slide. Now we can summarize that according to Pajan's rule, the covalent character will be favored by. First point is a small size of the cation. That's clear to you. If the size of cation is smaller, its polarizing power will be more. And second point is large size of anion. If the size of anion is large, it can be polarized easily. And the third point is that high charge of cation and anion. If the charge on cation is high, its polarizing power will be very high. And if the charge on anion is high, it can be easily polarized. And the last point, the cations having 18 electron shell configuration have high polarizing power. Reason is that they have 10 electrons in the d orbitals and the uh, d orbitals have very poor shielding effect. As a result of which the ions which have 18 electron shell configuration which is called a pseudo inert gas configuration have high polarizing power. Children, I hope this point is also clear to you. If you understand this point, you can solve any question based on that topic. Children, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope each and every point is clear to you. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends also. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.